Bei der WM 2014 warf er das perfekte Spiel, den neuen Data im legendären Ali Pelli. Und nicht nur das, er hat jetzt seinen ersten TV-Sieg einholen können auf der World Series in Auckland in Neuseeland. Schön, dass er hier in Mannheim mit dabei ist. Herzlich willkommen, the original Kyle Anderson! Kyle Anderson muss ran gegen den jüngsten Weltmeister in der Geschichte. 2006 gewann er die BDO-Weltmeisterschaft im Alter von 21 Jahren und 90 Tagen. Und äh, mit dem Erreichen des Halbfinals bei der PDC-WM 2016 ist er längst auch bei der Professional Darts Corporation ganz vorne mit dabei. Aktuell auf Weltranglistenplatz Nummer 11. Herzlich willkommen, The Cobra, Jelle Klaassen! The Cobra Yella Klaassen and the original Kyle Anderson fighting it out for a place in the quarterfinals at a Happy Bet German Darts Grand Prix. Three quarterfinals are set up. Rob Cross faces Ian White. Benito van der Pass and Vincent van der Voort clash in a all-Dutch affair. Michael Smith has just booked his place in the last eight to face the wizard Simon Whitlock, the top player from Australia. Can Australia's number two, Whitlock's World Cup partner, make it through continuing his sublime form of late to do that he's going to have to beat a former champion of the world in Yella Klaassen Chris Murphy in the commentary box alongside me Dan Dawson at the start of the day when you looked at the perhaps three form players you might have picked out MVG Kyle Anderson and Davil Gurney well one of them is gone yeah and two of them may well meet but they have to get past some pretty strong opponents first Anderson needing to see off another top Dutchman in yellow class and a man who is the seeded player he's number nine on the main order of merit so he's ranked way above Kyle Anderson Kyle Anderson currently 27th in the world rankings but the reason that we would have said those names that you mentioned is because, well, one, Michael Van Gurney is the man to be at every tournament, and two, Daryl Gurney and this man, Kyle Anderson, have been the form players, excluding MVG. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think most people would recognise that. You only know, have to look at the runs they keep putting together, the performances that they're stringing together. Yella Klaassen, these are his new darts. These were the ones he was going to throw yesterday. He decided against it, I think, and went back to his old ones. And changing grip for Yella Klaassen. 60. Hasn't tasted victory for a while, has he? Tournament victory, Yella Klaassen. Last year, he was brilliant on the European tour, kept running into Michael Van Gerwen, which could happen again today. Mm. But the one that got away was the final in Hildesheim against Alan Norris. Yeah. Kyle Anderson also reached the final. Sorry, semi-final, wasn't it, on the he Euro did. Tour last year? And he should have reached the final as well. So that was perhaps the one that got away for him. But the difference is, Anderson this year, one is maiden PDC title and then went on to win a TV event the Auckland Darts Masters has lost at this stage in the following three tournaments however he has but it was a 
huge 107 average from Michael Van Gerwen that dumped him out last weekend at the Dutch Darts Masters. That run in Austria, I'll come to in a minute, as Klaassen looks at double eight. Ooh. Ah, there we go. A good one, a poor one, and a very good one for Jelle Klaassen. Good enough to get that first leg on the board. Oh, Kyle. Uncharacteristic, the Kyle Anderson of late. Yeah, the, the run in Austria from Kyle Anderson. I felt he was playing the best darts out of everybody that weekend. But having beaten Michael Van Gerwen, he missed darts to beat Phil Taylor in that semi-final. Taylor went on to win it, beat Michael Smith in the final. But Kyle Anderson had already beaten Jelle Klaassen en route to that semi-final. In fact, it was at this stage of the Austrian Darts Open that he beat Jelle Klaassen. Beat him 6-5. They have met since then. They met the UK Open qualifiers at the start of the year. He won that 6-2, Kyle Anderson. That was on his return to action following those visa problems that ruled him out of the Players' Championship Finals and the World Championship. But they did meet the German Darts Masters in April in the quarterfinals. And Yella won that 1-6-4. That was when Yella was in that purple patch on the European Tour where he had five consecutive tournaments seven. making the semi-finals or the final. And as you say, during that spell, you felt that there was a title 100. there for the taking for Yella Klaassen. And the closest he got was that final against Alan Norris at the back end of last year, the German Darts Championship. Right yeah. now, Kyle Anderson is desperately trying to leave a finish and does do. He's 1-3-2. He did reach the final that day as well. He went on to lose to Michael Van Gerwen. Double ten. And Anderson has earned himself the opportunity. It would only be a hold of throw in a leg that Klaassen had bossed up to then. Treble 19 is not in, not near. Klaassen wants double five. But the new dart. Seem to be working pretty well for the Dutchman. Overall, by the way, the head's heads four apiece, so someone is going to get the upper hand. Yeah, the big ones, you would have to say, have been won by Yella. Obviously, the quarterfinal of the German Darts Masters earlier this year was a big one, but the biggest of the lot was at the UK Open finals last year when Yella not only won it, he won it to nil, 10 nil to Yella Klaassen. I remember that day in Minehead. Kyle Anderson, the man from Perth, not able to acclimatise to the conditions in Minehead. He, he said he basically, he was so cold, he could barely feel the dart in his hand. He couldn't grip it properly. He was trying all kinds of things just to warm himself up, but it just did not happen for him. And it became very apparent very, very quickly but Kyle Anderson was not going to win that match. In the end, he didn't get a single leg. So the two biggest meetings they've had, a quarterfinal on a big stage in the Euro Tour and a quarterfinal on one of the big stages at the UK Open, Yellow has won in both. Yeah, and for the nine months or so that followed, Yellow Class had maintained that kind of level of performance and perhaps unfortunate not to have picked up a title because there have been a lot of players peaking and finding some purple patches of form, mm. but picking up titles along the way Anderson is the latest yeah yeah but we've seen Daryl Gurney do it Joe Cullen do it Darren Webster tops 3-0 to Yellow Clarsen and despite the fact we said at the start that Yellow Clarsen was higher in the world rankings he's the seeded player in this one with the way that Carl Anderson has played lately you'd have possibly made Carl favourite for this match and it is not panned out like that because five games in a row Kyle Anderson has averaged a hundred and sometimes big ton plus averages it is not even close right now for Kyle Anderson there you go 80 if the hundred average Kyle Anderson is Kyle Anderson playing at a hundred or close to 100%. This is 80% Kyle Anderson, maybe even less than that. Yeah, well, we saw one Australian win with an 80 average yesterday in Simon Whitlock. He upped that by some distance today to see off Nathan Aspinall and reach tonight's quarterfinals. But Kyle Anderson has got an uphill task from here. Uh, and just to go even further on the point about Yella Carson's form in a minute, because Anderson... Well, that's the second time that he's found the first start in the treble on a finish where he would have wanted the bullseye, but not been able to find even the single number on the next dart. 
And Classen just taken out 118, 116 96. doesn't follow. Kyle, you require 80. Kyle's first chance to have a dart, a double. And he's got two in the end. And he only needs the one. Well, at least that's encouraging for Kyle Anderson. But having given himself a chance, he's taking it first dart. Yeah, what I was going to say, Dan, obviously Anderson has sparked into action and really just found a purple patch, which he might be starting to find in this game. But yeah, the class and form has declined. Now, that's not a criticism. There are obvious reasons for that, not least the wrist injury that developed and has since been operated on. Wait, this, this is the weird thing with Yeller. Oh, now then. Oh, just the four perfect darts. He went six One darts hundred. into the nine twice against Kim Hybrex yesterday. The weird thing with Yeller, he, he played through that pain barrier as he looks to fill this Whoa. up and does do for a maximum for the Cobra. Played through the pain barrier, kept on winning games. Now he's playing pain free. It's just not there at the minute. His form has just disappeared. And you wonder whether not playing... He's had to rest. He's been forced to as he looks at another trouble 17 for double top it would have left him. But Kyle Anderson on an 11 data potentially. And having been nowhere for three legs, Kyle Anderson may have woken up. Yeah, 180 apiece in this leg. Anderson to break. Bullseye. And on that day when he beat Michael Van Gerwen in Austria, he could not miss the bullseye, Kyle Anderson. Sure yeah, the Carson isn't missing very much. No, he is first. not. It is 4-1. 14 data for the Cobra. But Yellow Clarsen, you see him at these tournaments oh, and you cannot get him off the practice board. Even when he's... He's already played that day, or he's not playing at all that day, and he's just throwing and throwing hour after hour after hour. You cannot get a set of... He's throwing other people's darts. He's throwing... He just wants to be on the dartboard all the time. And that enforced spell, where he wasn't able to throw, just as he was recovering from that injury, and he was very cautious about it, saying, look, I know if I, if I put it under too much strain, then I might do some serious damage and have to take some, a lot of time off. 58. I just wonder whether that has just just really affected that that crest of a wave he was riding, particularly on the European Tour. It looks like 100. it in terms of his results, at any rate. Needed the maximum to leave a finish. Yep, half a dozen darts for Kyle Anderson from 1-3-8. Sets it up very nicely, Kyle Anderson. He has dragged his average up into the 90s now after it being in the high 70s for the first three legs. But the problem is, giving a former world champion a three-leg head start in a race to six makes it very, very difficult to come back. Yeah, I'm not sure it was part of his game plan. Tops? 20. Well, will he come back in this leg? Klassen looking at 1-3-2. Nowhere near. He had to go for that part of the board to give himself the 74. best chance of mopping that up. All you require, 20. Nice marker. Ten. Another nice Here marker. Sadly, yeah. he hasn't got any more darts to throw in this visit. Could be 5-1. Could be curtains. He's been good on tops. He's but 10 to the, the rescue. And Kyle Anderson needs Yella Clarsen to grow him a life jacket in this match because he's having everything his own way, the Dutchman. And what for all the fanfare and the build-up that we've given Anderson and Gurney, kind of letting us down a bit, making us look like mugs. Well, it doesn't take much for that what? to happen, but Kyle Anderson is not done just yet. Maximum number two. Is it maximum number two for Yella? No. Kyle Anderson has to win five straight legs. The Kyle Anderson that we've seen over the last few weeks, well, he could do it. He looks like a bloke who'd win five straight legs against anybody. He's not looked like that today. He's fully 10 points okay. off what he's been doing in every single Euro Tour game this weekend and last weekend. And certainly a lot of those games that he's been playing on the World Series in New Zealand and Australia, New Zealand and Australia over the last few weeks. And indeed, that Pro Tour win. I'm sure there would have been some 100 averages in there, although we don't have the benefit of all the stats from those games. No, well, the final, he was 
around that, surely. Mm. Yes. He had a nine darter along the way as well. That always bumps the average 99. up. At 99 for Yellow Class and leaves him 117. He's already taken out 118. He threatened to take out 116 earlier. For the match then, for the number nine seed to book his place in tonight's quarterfinals. And it's a lovely first, a perfect second. 77. And Zander's in a chance to break. And a chance he has to take. He does. But will he? 17 for tops, just like Yella. And just like, like Yella, he misses. And he's furious with himself, Kyle Anderson. Because he has just gone out 6 1 to Yella Clarsen, who once again beats him on the Euro Tour stage this year. The Cobra, after a period of hibernation, it seems, over the last few weeks on the European Tour, after that stunning run of success at the start of this year and the back end of last year. Maybe Clarsen is just bearing his teeth once again. He is through to the quarterfinals. He will face the winner of our final game this afternoon. Will it be the top player from Wales, the Iceman Gerwin Price, or will the Cobra cross swords with Michael Van Gerwen once again? It's a clear match, honestly. Do you? Uh, no, I think if, if Cal played the way he's been playing the last few months, it was the other way around, but... Uh, I was uh, a little bit lucky that he didn't start well, and at the end he missed too many doubles, but uh, I'm happy to get through. Yeah. Yesterday you said after the surgery it's, it's, it's something like a new start in 2017. What kind of goals do you actually set? Is it being really top 10, still in top 10, winning a major tournament? What kind of goals are they? Um, I just want to get ready for the World Championships. Uh, this, th this game was the first time I played with new darts, so I'm going to practice with them more uh, and uh, get ready for the Worlds. That's uh, the most important tournament. So. Uh, I don't have any goals, I just want to get ready for the Worlds. What is the difference with the new dance? Uh, they're new, more grip, a little bit different, but they feel good. Okay, that's cool. See you later again. Thank you very much. Jelle Klaassen is with nine darts unterwegs. Have an etwas anderen grip. Die fühlen sich gut an. Das sah gut aus und er sagt, setzt sich keine großen Ziele. Hatte die Handgelenke-Operation vor einigen Wochen. Das ist jetzt für ihn so eine